physical or chemical sunscreen? How do you choose? How do you know which one is right for your skin type? In this video, we're going to go over the pros and cons of both. And this is going to help you decide which one you should go for. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Yurai and I am the skincare stan. I have been suffering from acne for most of my life and I've tried out so many different products. I'm here to make it easy for you and tell you about my skincare journey, what worked for me, and the things I've learned along the way. Today we are doing one of my favorite topics, sunscreen. We all know that sunscreen is like super important and that you have to use it every day to keep your skin healthy and glowy. That's said it's not so easy to find the sunscreen that's going to work for your skin type. Either they dry you out or maybe they break you out and a lot of people actually give up on sunscreen along the way because they think it's impossible to find one that works for you but I'm here to tell you that you can find one that works for you. You gotta do some basic education. So let's get into it. Today let's demystify the difference between two main types of sunscreens and the pros and the cons of both. So physical sunscreen refers to sunblock that is made out of mineral compounds. Once applied to your skin, these physical blockers sit on your skin and what they do is they reflect UVA and UVB rays away from your skin. If you think about it, they kind of work like a mirror. They reflect the light and they reflect the negative rays that come with it. So, what are some of the main benefits of physical sunscreens? Number one, they are great at deflecting not only UVB light, but also UVA light. This is great because you don't have to worry about that pesky hyperpigmentation or a loss of collagen. Number three is probably the number one reason people use physical filters, and that is the fact that they are super non-irritating. If you have problems with chemical filters, if they're irritating you, maybe breaking you out, physical sunscreen might just be the answer. Another thing is that they're great for heat-related conditions such as rosacea. They not only reflect UVA and UVB lights, but they also repel heat off your face, which could help with your rosacea. It could physical sunscreens also generally have a longer shelf life. Of course, it depends on the formula and the other ingredients inside of them, but the basic physical sunscreens usually do last longer after opening than chemical filters. Now that we got all these beautiful benefits out of the way, what about the drawbacks? For people with extremely sensitive skin, physical sunscreens are the only answer because what is the point even of sunscreen if it's going to irritate your skin, right? The fact that it does leave a little bit of a greasy, shiny feeling to your skin can also make you sweat more. And this sweat is going to make your sunscreen slide off your face quicker. And we definitely don't want that. So that is also another con. Another thing that we just kind of glazed over before is white cast. That is very like visually apparent. And it is especially problematic for people with richer skin tones. I'm quite fair skinned and I still get white cast sometimes from physical sunscreens. So it's definitely something that you should keep in mind. I think there are a couple formulations out there that can work for people with richer skin tones. However, it's never going to be as perfect as it is with chemical sunscreens. They can also be so hard to rub in. I'm not even kidding. Because they are so thick in consistency, it can take up to 5 minutes or several layers of work for you to rub it into your skin properly. And so that's physical sunscreens. As you can see, they have some really great pros and some not so great cons. Now let's talk physical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens use carbon-based ingredients such as oxybenzone and octicellate. These compounds protect the skin from UVA and UVB rays by literally converting them into your skin into heat and rejecting them off your face. Unlike physical sunscreens, they are actually absorbed into your skin. I know it all sounds kinda scary, but they have gone through rigorous testing and they are completely safe to use. So, what are the main benefits of chemical sunscreens? Generally, they are much more 
comfortable to wear, especially under makeup. If you wear makeup, chances are if you're using a physical sunscreen, you're going to run into peeling. With chemical sunscreens, it's just like using moisturizer. In fact, most of them come in a moisturizer base and if you're using some European or Asian sunscreens, you're going to notice that they have really nice, light, enjoyable textures. When it comes to chemical filters, there is also another great pro, and that is that you do not need as much. You still need plenty, about two fingers, but you do not need like three fingers or more, which is needed for physical sunscreens. And for me, this is a big deal because it also helps just apply more evenly and more easily. Typically, they do not leave the skin feeling greasy, especially those which are formulated for your face. And the most important part, especially for those with deeper skin types, is that chemical sunscreens do not leave a white cast. This is really important for people, and I understand that if your sunscreen leaves you feeling like a ghost, you're not going to use them. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> they are also generally much easier to apply and rub bin because they have just a lighter consistency so your skin just soaks them in immediately. So the pros are really amazing. I mean who doesn't want a glowy, natural, non-heavy finish, right? What about the cons? Let's get into it. The number one problem with chemical sunscreens is that for some people they cause irritation or they sting while applying them to their skin. I understand that this can be quite problematic, however I do believe that this in most cases can be offset by trying out different sunscreens and finding the filters that work for you. Generally in Europe and in Asia and in Australia, there are many filters available that are not available in the United States. So if you live in the United States, I recommend trying out chemical filters from these places so you can try out more modern filters that are not yet approved in the United States. However, there are also good chemical filters available in the United States. If you are very sensitive, maybe you are going to need to import your sunscreen. Another drawback is that you do have to wait about 10 to 15 minutes after applying it before going into the sun for it to actually work. So now that we know the main differences between the two sunscreen types, the question remains, which one should you use? You are going to have to try out both and really see which works for you. I do recommend starting with the chemical sunscreen and seeing if you are having any irritation. Maybe trying out one, two, or maybe even three different chemical sunscreens. If you are still getting irritation, then you can go in and try a physical sunscreen. Sunscreen is the most important part and I feel like after a while you really get to learn how to apply your sunscreen even if it's a physical sunscreen properly and I see a lot of people using nice physical sunscreens and being completely happy with them. So don't let that discourage you. But I am a fan of chemical sunscreens. I personally use chemical sunscreens even though I have a very sensitive skin type. So what are some of my favorite sunscreens, both physical and chemical? When it comes to physical sunscreens, my favorites are the ones from Elta MD. Even though I don't use a physical sunscreen right now, when I did use that one, I feel like it was a great sunscreen that really felt almost like a chemical sunscreen. The price is a little bit up there, but I feel like it's totally worth it. And when it comes to chemical sunscreens, I love La Roche-Posay products. The Anthelios Invisible Fluid is my favorite chemical sunscreen for the face, and the Anthelios Invisible Spray is my favorite chemical sunscreen for the body. La Roche-Posay really has some great innovative filters and uh, they have really high UVA protection, which not all chemical filters and chemical sunscreens have. So I would definitely recommend those. However, there are other great ones out there, especially uh, Japanese sunscreens, which offer also a very elegant finish to the skin. So if you're in to chemical sunscreen that feels like a light lotion, I do recommend checking out some of the Japanese sunscreens. So you guys, that is it for today. I hope I helped you learn about sunscreens today and I hope your skincare journey is going to be 
always followed by a sunscreen, of course. And I hope that you find the right sunscreen and I hope that you use it every day because I really do feel once you find the right sunscreen, it's actually a joy to use. Like, I love putting on sunscreen now because I found one that feels so light and so good on my skin and doesn't cause irritation. So why shouldn't I use it? It's basically like using another light moisturizer. And who wouldn't want that, right? So yeah, thank you for watching and don't forget to use your sunscreen. Bye!